Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be documenting more of Evan's auto wreck to legend run um, in this season. Uh, so obviously we covered a number of different leagues and now we're covering uh, in the open ultra league. Uh, he has again to reiterate uh, auto wreck is basically when you delete all your parties you go you go to the go battle league and it's the default Pokemon available and then as well um, he has uh, three rules. One, he can change a Pokemon to the same type. Uh, two, he can change the lead. And then three, he can't do one and two in the same battle. He told me that uh, he uh, basically sent me a bunch of battles where uh, they were like more interesting. And he's just trying to have fun right now because uh, he still has a little bit of time uh, to climb to reach the legend. But obviously still going to be a very, very challenging task. So let's go ahead and get started. With the battles, before we get into the battles, I uh, just wanted to make a really quick announcement. I have been sponsored by G Fuel. So this video and subsequent videos uh, will be sponsored by G Fuel. I appreciate everyone's support. I really enjoy G Fuel products, so hopefully uh, you will as well and save a few dollars. Uh, very good lead. Uh, Lapras into Articuno. And let's see how he's going to play this. Interesting, the, the Articuno has not thrown yet. They have enough energy for their hurricane and they do throw the hurricane very interesting um they do have the same fast move but obviously articuna take neutral versus lapras does double resist those uh, that does quite a bit of damage oh this is a confusion chrysalia which is quite interesting here um they need five confusions to make it to a moonblast moonblast is 60 energy each confusion uh generates 12 energy um so like six energies per second or three energy per turn. And then should be able to outpace uh, to, to the flame charge here. Uh, flame charge obviously dealing a little bit of damage to Cresselia, but it's mostly boosting the shadow claw damage uh, that you care about. So we're gonna see whether or not this Cresselia has grass knot. It does not, or it doesn't appear to have grass knot. And gonna go for the dazzling gleam here. Will they know it, it is Dazzling Gleam? This is a twice boosted move. Oh my gosh, they did not know it was Dazzling Gleam. Here comes Articuno. Gonna immediately switch into Lapras. I love this switch here. Don't give them any chance to farm down. And as well, they are, this is definitely GG. That Dazzling Gleam did a stupid amount of damage. All right, we're gonna have Regirock versus uh, Obama Snow. So this is a Shadow Obama Snow. Uh, so the Stone Edge will do quite a bit of damage and as well, we'll be able to outpace the, the Regirock. Uh, we'll be able to replace, outpace the Obama Snow uh, because it does take seven seconds to get to the Energy Ball uh, versus it does take uh, only five and a half to get to the Stone Edge. Uh, but Obama Snow obviously taking less damage from the fast move since Lock-On does almost no damage uh, versus uh, Powder Snow is quite a strong move. And uh, gonna no shield this. Let's see whether or not they they bait here. Uh, another weather ball would not KO, so uh, probably won't shield here. Yeah. And then okay, gonna immediately safe switch into um, yeah into uh, Mew, which is I think is a great idea. Gonna shield this rock slide. There's almost no chance that they bait here. Uh, and then. Okay, gonna go for the flame charge and gonna look to farm down as opposed to throwing the dazzling gleam and avoiding the damage should be able to come out with a move unfortunately not gonna be able to farm down they just barely survived uh those shadow claw boosted shadow claws maybe if he threw right away uh would have been able to uh farm down in time because the missed like one or two boosted uh shadow claws but this is this was totally fine okay they go into okay into typhlosion here gonna go oh in the switch here fortunately this uh this red rock able to survive and then gonna switch out into uh, uh for alligator uh unfortunately he's gonna get solar beamed here yeah and this is gonna be a gg the big beam finishing off evan there all right typhlosion into bronze on uh, very good matchup. Uh, okay, this is kind of a rough situation here. So we'll be able to live this Hydro Cannon no problem. Uh, these Water Guns are certainly going to be able to, are going to add up. 
uh, we'll, we'll be able to outpace the two moves here. Um, unfortunately, one does not KO and obviously need to get to two to, in order to win this matchup. Uh, and then gonna throw the close combat here. Uh, again, not gonna do enough. This is a, a neutral, non-stab close combat from a grain ball, but still not quite enough. Uh, we're gonna see how he wants to play this. And uh, they come into... Um, oh, also a reminder, uh, Evan is an, a new YouTuber as well. So gonna be posting some content. So if you're looking to follow his journey a little bit more closely, uh, you can go ahead and check his channel. I'm sure he's going to comment below and I'll pin his comment. Um, ooh, here comes Machamp. Will Machamp know? There's no chance Machamp knows, right? Bye bye, Machamp. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see how he wants to play this out. Um, getting a no shield here. And uh, going to look to farm down and then this bronze zone is absolutely gonna get its bell rung and uh we're gonna ring in the new year with a bang here with a big blast burn and uh this is this is absolutely a gg uh for the typhlosion all right okay going up against david here we're gonna see mew into a magna zone so this is an okay matchup, right? Obviously the flame charge gonna deal super effective damage. They will be able to outpace to the to the move. So gonna build up. I'm not sure what he's building up to. Uh, maybe hoping to shield then. Okay, so we'll live a wild charge here. Uh, but we'll, okay, they mirror shot. Okay. Um, probably safe shield here. Okay, they do go for the wild charge. Interesting, they're staying in. Uh, this should be a mirror shot, but uh, not gonna take any risk here. And gonna be able to throw this flame charge here. Should be able to outpace. Uh, they're only at two right now, two or three. Um, and then here comes, here comes Gengar. Gonna throw this flame charge here, and then gonna immediately go into Shadow Zapdos here. Gonna be able to get to this Drill Peck before this. Um, before this Gengar is able to get to a, a nuke and um, you have to put your costume down Gengar because the real party's here and that's in the form of Shadow Zapdos again okay so they switch out into ugh, kind of a complicated matchup here okay gonna go into gonna throw the drill pack then likely switch into Almostar okay unfortunately only has Rock Blast here which is very bad here um I think Rock Slide's Legacy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, gonna shield this. Was thinking that it was gonna be a uh, superpower. Should be able to live a superpower though from Snorlax. It'll put it incredibly low. And then gonna throw both these Rock Blasts here because Rock Blast is an absolute garbage move. Uh, there's absolutely no chance that the Snorlax shields there. And gonna build up a little bit there, but I don't think it really matters because this Machamp is gonna be able to farm down this Amistar, no problem. And it's gonna be just one counter here. I'm curious what you go into. Uh, maybe go into Zapdos here. Okay, should be able to uh, outpace here. So they they're at six. So they're one away from the supposed Rock Slide. They might have um, payback or that. Okay. Um, okay. Definitely don't have payback. Gonna throw the Flame Charge basically right away here, hoping to boost these Shadow Claws so they can deal more super effective damage to this Gengar. Gengar is forced to shield here. Ooh, okay, gonna no shield this. Uh, it's, it's Shadow Ball too. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I. Hmm. Let's see here. Should be okay. Uh, this drill pack should KO as well. Oh no, okay, they have too much energy, unfortunately. Okay, we're into the next match here. Uh, Mew into Gallade, this is a very favorable matchup here. Resisting the confusions, doing super effective damage with these Shadow Claws. Should just be a Leaf Blade, not too too much damage here. Um, and then here comes Snorlax, gonna throw the Dazzling Gleam here to soften up the Snorlax. Oh, the shield, interesting. 
and they're expecting a wild charge or even focus blast there obviously didn't have enough energy just yet uh okay so bomb still can live a superpower but okay they end up throwing the the body slam here so that's not great likely they go for the superpower next okay gonna throw the um, energy ball here Oh, defense fell. That's actually kind of huge. Okay. Um, gonna let this go. They body slam again. It's actually kind of huge. Um, let's see what they want to do now. Oh, they shield again. Whoa. Okay, really? They superpower here. Uh, gonna look to Shadow Claw down. Very nice. I'm also double resisting the licks. I'm gonna go for the close combat and then look to dip into uh, into Mew again. Um, let's see. Okay, gonna shield this. Interesting. Okay, gonna go for the dazzling gleam here, uh, which should be enough to take out this Blastoise. Okay. Oh, I don't know if this was the right play though. I think just build it. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Gonna be able to win CMP here and win a, this extremely close match. That's gonna be a good game. All right. We're gonna have the Shadow Zapdos versus a Politoed here. Obviously dealing super effective damage with these Thunder Shocks. They come into. Oh, interesting. They come into Jorachi here. Um. Uh, should be able to live a Doom Desire does chunk, but it does resist the confusion, so it should be be able to make up for that damage difference. Okay, gonna throw in the middle of the third confusion here. They need one more to make it to the next Doom Desire. Okay, or yep, yeah, okay, and then um, are they gonna double shield here? Because this is a CMP right now, or should be a CMP. Okay, I'm not sure. Hmm, interesting. Um, oh, interesting. I thought they'd be one more away. Maybe all, with all the lag there, this one. Okay, and then we're gonna see what's gonna come in. Oh, Politoed here. Not great to throw the flame charge here, but I guess once the combo play here, because maybe the Thunderbolt wouldn't have been enough and that would have been pretty, pretty bad. All right, and then here comes a bomb of snow. Really needs to make this drill pack here. And then once this drill pack applies, then Dragonite even uh, taking double super good damage should be able to take out this a bomb of snow unless they excellently farm. Uh, but it's, it's already too late at this point in time. Let's throw the weather ball, and Dragonite can basically just farm down here. Two dragon tails, and that is a wrap there. All right, uh, Mew into Needle Queen. Okay, um, without Surf, this is a, kind of an awkward matchup here. They, they go straight for the Poison Fang. Okay, this Needle Queen is not playing around here. Um, okay, and here comes uh, Air Slash Amanda Buzz. Really, they probably really thought, uh, Evan really thought about uh, throwing the Dazzling Gleam there, but it would be kind of a waste here because this uh, backline kind of struggles against uh, Needle Queen. So you kind of want the energy. Um, Okay, this is okay. Gonna take quite a bit of damage here. And then look to land the Stone Edge. Okay, uh, gonna look to farm down, I guess. It looks like to be the case, but it might be low enough for the Needle Queen to farm down the uh, Aggron, which is always... Uh... Okay, they come into g -Fest here. That is that is kind of bad here. That is kind of bad. Okay, gonna switch and throw the flame charge here. I love this flame charge play. Okay, they come back into Needle Queen here. Uh, gonna throw another flame charge here. I don't know if this Needle Queen will shield. No, okay. Uh, it is slightly under leveled here. Uh, kinda needs to shield this, to be honest. It's, it's kind of uh, rough, it does not. And gonna have to throw here. Cause these poison jabs are just way too strong with the defense drop and then gonna be able to get a few more in and end up actually in a simultaneous ko and uh 
should be in a pretty good spot here. You can obviously be able to land the Focus Blast. Um, okay, looks like they tried to catch. Um, okay, gonna call the Rock Slide bait here. <laughs> what a, what a absolutely crazy move that is. <laughs> um, and gonna be end up in a good spot here. Gonna go for the Thunder BM. Uh, Th Thunder and, and Stone Edge are both double resisted here, but obviously Stone Edge the better move, better raw damage, and as well uh, better with the stab. Okay, so good lead here. Um, Drill Pack obviously going to do quite a bit to the Scrafty. Oh, here comes uh, Nine Tails here, and then switch into. Okay, going to switch into uh, Mew. I like this play. Okay, this should just be a Weather Ball. Okay, should be another weather ball. Can I actually shield this time. And then gonna build up a little bit here. I don't know if this flame charge is gonna KO. If it does, then it'll be super close. Actually, no, not even that close, okay. I forgot how tanky Ninetales is. Should be able to live this though. And then be able to land this flame charge. Okay, oh man, they come to Scrafty here. No way, no way, no way. They have two shields, right? Oh, oh, they have one shield. Okay, yeah, that is absolutely a GG there. Um, okay. Um, gonna have to shield this or sack the Zapdos. Okay. Um, okay, gonna be able to farm down here. And then here comes Neo Queen. Oh, this is absolutely game over, unfortunately. Um, I don't see a realistic way to win this game. Yeah, especially with that poison jab coming through. There's no way this grand ball will survive another poison jab. Won't even get off a like. Won't even be able to get off a nurse snarl. And um, it'll be kind of close here, but I doubt this Zapdos will be able to get to two drill packs, which is definitely what's needed. Okay, gonna be one short here. Oh, but I, mean, can, I don't think they can survive another poison jab though. That's gonna be a GG. Very, uh, very competitive game there. All right, we're gonna have Zangoose into Snorlax. Okay, uh, okay matchup. They're obviously both dealing um, not very effective damage uh, times two because uh, both their normal typing, obviously double resisting Ghost. Ghost for the body slam. Didn't even build up to the superpower. And then gonna throw the close combat here. I think is one short of the double close combat. Um, yeah, one short of the double. Not that that's a big deal because the the licks are still doing very minimal amount of damage. And then gonna switch out into uh, Grand Bull here. Okay, they tried to catch a move here. Very well, it was uh, the timing was very nice, but unfortunately for Evan, he's, he was, wasn't gonna throw right away. And then easily takes out the Gengar. And then here comes Mew. Gonna throw the crunch here. Uh, this should do like about 45% or something. Oh man, way more than 45%, okay. Uh, more like 55, 60% and uh, should be able to take out this Mew. I guess if it one shot at Gengar, should do probably have to another Pokemon. And uh, gonna shield here, yeah. And then throw the close combat and then basically it's game over here, right? Like a Night Slash. Uh, we'll KO. Okay, CMP, totally fine. And then Night Slash will KO, Close Combat will KO, Flame Charge will KO, basically anything will, will KO at, at this point in time. And even could Shadow Claw down, I think with a be able to save a shield and still be able to win. Okay, they go for the big Dazzling Gleam here, just to uh, make sure that they're in their dream, dreams with this big Dazzling Gleam. We're gonna have uh, Typhlosion into Jellicent. So uh, Typhlosion actually wins this. Oh, she it's Bubble. Okay, they switch out. Oh man, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's this. This is no way. There's no way they shield this. There's no way they shield this. There's no way they. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man. Big dazzling gleam. Gonna be able to take it out. Thank you very much, Evan, uh, for sending me the battles again. He is an up and coming YouTuber. Just check out his stuff. If you're if you if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone in the next video.